The concept behind Seed Restaurant is right there in the name. It's about giving people a fresh start in life, such as the one woman they call Miracle Mary. But how this growing enterprise came to be is a small miracle in itself. I'm Sonia Singh, and I'm generally the manager, is the way I like to put it. I'm the general manager. Uh, but since I have not had a background in the restaurant industry, uh, it's all a big learning experience for me. Really, Seed began as an offshoot of the ministry that we were doing with our church. So my husband, Jordan Singh, is the uh, senior pastor at Blue Water Mission. We made a Palama settlement. And for about the last uh, five or six years, we've been highly engaged in uh, justice ministries. That was actually one of the very first things we did as a church. We put on a, a conference at UH on uh, human trafficking. And um, it's always been very core to what we do. And so in the last five or six years, we've developed three community houses in which we uh, have folks who are coming out of transition. What happened for us was that our community houses proved to be somewhat successful. For instance, our, our anti-trafficking house over the last five years has helped to spring roughly 100 young women and underage girls from human trafficking in Honolulu. Uh, we have a, a couple other houses that specialize in bringing homeless people off the streets or, or helping uh, domestic abuse victims find shelter or get free of alcoholism or other drug issues. And in large part, that was going well, but we could not find them jobs. And it became so frustrating that I began to pray to the Lord about it, and I felt like he said, well, then you have to start a business to give them jobs. What business, I say? And he said, a restaurant. I said, I have no idea how to run a restaurant. And that was the beginning of our adventure with Seed Restaurant. When Jordan first presented the idea that the church should open a restaurant, uh, I was very excited. I didn't know what my role would be. I think it's a great idea, it makes a ton of sense. At that time, I was working elsewhere, um, but through a series of events, that job ended, and it ended just about a month or two before we signed the lease for this building. We did have another, a number of team members uh, involved, but no one at that point was able uh, to take over the, the renovation process. And we have rehabbed houses before. I mean, we, the houses we lived in, you know, and I love space. And so I just said I, I would be thrilled to be able to do some of that work. It is very challenging to juggle the different uh, callings on my life, being a mom, being in some ways a, a mother figure in our church community, and you know, it's kind of like being a mother of this, or this restaurant. Seed Restaurant has been an adventure. That's the proper word for it. We've been in business about six months. And uh, the public side of it, the sales side of it, has, has been great. Uh, we have exceeded our earnings projections. Um, people in the community tend to get it. They get the idea of a justice restaurant. They love the food. They love the concept of locally sourced healthy food. All that is going great. What's difficult is running it. Uh, so we're, uh, we're dealing with a lot of special challenges. The restaurant business on its own is complicated enough. 90% of new restaurants fail within two years. On top of that, add that we're trying to source locally, justly, uh, chemical free, and we're hiring people who are not used to having normal jobs. It is the source of all the joy, and it's also the source of the challenge. Steep learning curve. When we talk about being a justice restaurant, we've talked a lot about the human element of that as justice for our, our employees, but other two other areas of justice that we think is really important is uh, just to the economy and just to our bodies. So that's why it's healthy food, because we, Jordan's very, very convicted that if, we, if it's not just to your body, if it's not healthy, we're not gonna serve it. On a day-to-day -day basis, um, I get the final calls and all the decisions but I also serve in the restaurant a great deal. So I, I think, I think I'm the only person who has literally done every job in the restaurant, from busing tables to waiting tables to washing dishes to cooking in the kitchen to mixing drinks as a barista. Uh, that's my claim to fame. I'm not necessarily good at any of them, uh, but I've done all of them. Actually, three people have already seriously approached me uh, with the idea of opening franchises, and I've given them uh, the same response each time. 
uh, get back to me in a year or two because I'm just too stinking tired to think about it right now. My biggest takeaway from these six months is it does include that this is a lot harder than I expected, uh, but equally so, I think I, I understand that the mission of this restaurant, and for me personally and for everybody involved, is to show that we all have capacity to change. That includes me. I have the capacity to change. You know, that, that's David, that's Mary, that's John, that's the people who come in and eat here, that we have the capacity to change. So if it's harder than we thought, that's okay. Because whenever you're building capacity, it means you come to the end of yourself. And I, I just think I'm so grateful. I think that's what we need as a culture is to not back down when we think, oh, I'm at the end. Actually, you're not at the end. You're really at the beginning. After the break, you'll hear more about the people who made Seed Restaurant and Blue Water Mission. Such an amazing story.